Okay, so this question is a pretty classic one. It's a classic high yield one. Again, thank you for joining us in our virtual Q bank. And as always, we'll have a screenshot at the end of a table for you to take home. Okay, on to the question. A soldier is exposed to an experimental gas while on the battlefield. He is rescued and returned to the medical station, but there is severe damage of his lungs. Over the next few months, his lungs begin to recover. Which cell type allow this regeneration? We'll pause and we'll let you answer. Okay, and if that was too fast, make sure that you pause the video anytime. Again, we're going to have some of the same information repeated a couple times, so don't worry, but always feel free to pause. Now, continuing. So what was the answer? It was type 2 pneumocytes. For the regenerative cell in question, the answer is the type 2 pneumocyte. Now, as a bonus, we're going to talk about the alveoli. The alveoli are the tiny air sacs in your lungs, where oxygen and CO2 get swamped within your blood. They're lined with type 1 pneumocytes, which are super thin for efficient gas exchange. But these type 2, they're the all-rounders. They produce surfactant, and they also are able to regenerate, replenishing both type 1 and type 2 pneumocytes. This ensures the structural and functional integrity of the alveoli post damage. Now to summarize again, type 1 are these slender flat cells, and they're going to cover most of the surface area, about 95-97% to 97 of the surface area, and they're there for the transfer of gases. They also have tight junctions that allow for this, and they do help the stability of the actual alveoli itself because of the fact that they cover some surface area. But when we think about regeneration, we think about type 2 pneumocytes. Specifically, what we think about is that they're able to maintain function post that sort of damage. They also produce a surfactant, but that surfactant, trust me, it's a whole other video. Very important, but I just want you to know that. Now moving on, we also have alveolar macrophages. These are lungs defense. Now they're going to gobble up germs, debris, and eat that, but also they're instrumental in starting the immune responses, and that's because they release cytokines. They also produce elastase, which is kept in check by our tissue inhibitor of kinases, and that's relevant to emphysema. They also, in consuming things, can have the consumption of hemocedrin, which could show the inhalation of blood, blood vessel, inflammation, and it can show edema within the lungs. Now as a bonus, we're going to talk about our Clara cells, our club cells. Those are relevant because of their ability to use their cytochrome P450 enzymes to, you know, digest, break things down, bioenergetically work through things, but also they help and contribute with the production of surfactant. Why is that relevant? Well, I think that's relevant because that's going to let you know that that's something that could be contrasted with your type 2 pneumocytes. Now, that's what we have for today. Please feel free to go back, screenshot anything. We made you these tables to save you some points. If you want to follow us on social media, you can see it here. And as always, not medical advice. And if you see something wrong, please feel free to correct us. We're trying to do this to just spread medical information. If you see something wrong, trust me, it's okay. We'll be humble about it. We can fix it. I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.